<laughs> so young. <yeah. laughs> Hey guys, it's Tom and welcome to today's travel vlog. I'm currently in Taipei in Taiwan. This is episode 2 of our travel vlog series here in Taipei. Now I can't wait to show you guys where I'm going to bring you today because I found a really cool theme cafe that is super cute. So let's go to that one first. I'm also going to bring you to Taipei 101 and check out the amazing views of Taipei. And we're going to hike up to a mountain and check out some nice sunset views of the entire Taipei city skyline so stay tuned if you want to see all of that of course we're also going to be eating along the way so we're going to be continuing our Taiwan and Taiwanese food food journey so stay tuned for all the yummy things that I find along the way so let's head out and explore Taipei <music> It's time for some coffee, so I brought you here to one of the most popular theme cafes here in Taiwan. There's the Rilakkuma Cafe. Now Rilakkuma is a really, really famous and popular Japanese cartoon character. He's a bear, he's super cute, so I can't wait to show you guys who he is, especially if you don't know him. He's one of my most favorite Japanese cartoon characters, and he's got his own cafe here in Taiwan. This place is open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., and it's better to come here early in the mornings because if you want to come here in the afternoon or night, you've got to make a book. So we've got a lot of space inside now to take a look and I can't wait to show you guys their famous coffee So let's check out the Rolakuma Cafe So here's the characters of Rolakuma. There is Rolakuma This is Korilakuma And this is Kiroi Tori, they're super cute. They're the three main characters of Rilakkuma. So here's what I ordered. I got the set, which is the pancake. Red bean mochi pancakes with a matcha latte and you get to choose what design you want on the actual foam so I chose design number 27 because I thought that was so cute in their little cat get up so yeah pretty cool can't wait for it to come <laughs> So that was the Rilakkuma Cafe. How amazing was that? Super cute. Everything in here is super cute. Everything you just want to take a picture of and a video of. So definitely come here when you're in Taipei. Super nice stuff. They gave me this freebie that they don't usually give away. It's a little container of some Rilakkuma candy. And look at how cute that is. Oh my god, seriously, I don't want to eat this because it's super cute. <laughs> 
Taipei 101 is right behind me here. It's one of the tallest buildings here in Asia and we're gonna try and get up the top and get a nice view of the city skyline. Hopefully it doesn't start raining too much because it's starting to spit a little bit now. But let's make our way up to Taipei 101. So we're now here at Taipei 101. I just got my ticket, it costs 600 new Taiwanese dollars to get in. And because it's raining outside, the 91st floor is closed, but we can access the 88th and 89th floors of the Taipei 101 Observatory. There's a bit of a line now, there's slots to get in, so our slot's at 2.30 to 3. I'm not sure if that means that you've got only 30 minutes to stay there, or you've got to get in within those 30 minutes, so we'll check that out. Anyway, let's head up to the 88th floor. So I'm here on the 89th floor of Taipei 101. It was actually the world's tallest building back in 2004 at 508 meters, but it still remains as one of the top 10 buildings in the world. This place is amazing. The views here are outrageous. I just wish it was a little bit more clearer, but anyway, I'm still loving the view so far. So let's take in more of the views of Taipei from the 89th floor of Taipei 101. You know me and my snacks, guys, so I got a traditional pineapple cake. So this has, it's like a pastry and it's got pineapple and the traditional winter melon inside it. So let's try it. So that was Taipei 101. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. That was actually the world's fastest elevator. It literally took 20 seconds to get up to the 88th floor, so that was pretty cool if you think about it. It's actually in the World Guinness Book of Records, so that's pretty cool feat for them. It was a bit of a maze to get out of, or to get to the elevator to go down, because they forced you to go through kind of like a duty-free area where you buy jade and jewelry and stuff like that so you have to go through all of that before you can get downstairs but the good thing about Taipei 101 is at the base of the tower there's Taipei 101 mall which is one of the best 
malls here in Taipei. Amazing if you want to get some luxury brands or go shopping for likes of Prada, Louis Vuitton, etc, etc, etc. But now I'm going to take you to a nice scenic point where we're going to get a nice view of the sunset of Taipei and the night view of Taipei, so let's get walking. Just a quick snack before we go up to our next place. I just got some fried chicken and fried mushroom. And apparently it's supposed to be the number one fried chicken in Taiwan. Super inexpensive. I got both of these for 190 Taiwanese dollars. And it's huge, so I got these to share. So let's try them out. <laughs> This trumpet mushroom is actually really good when it's fried and the fried chicken, super, super moist. I love it. I love it when popcorn chicken is really, really moist because sometimes back home you get it and it's super dry. It is really, really moist because it's cooked at such a high temperature so it just locks in all the moisture. But the surprise was this trumpet mushroom. It's actually really good. I've never even heard of trumpet mushroom before but I like it. So what makes this chicken super moist is that it's still got little bits of bone in it so that while it's cooking it stays moist. So the bits of bone in here, it's edible so you can still eat the bone, you just have to make sure you chew properly. I actually like that, it adds another flavour dimension to it and it just locks in the moisture so that's why this popcorn chicken is super moist. Little bits of bone in the popcorn chicken, amazing. So I wanted to get up to the best place where you can watch an amazing sunset of the Taipei skyline and we're going to get up to Elephant Mountain so there's a bit of a hike to get up there so let's start walking before the sun goes down. So I've made it to the top of Elephant Mountain hiking trail. It took about 20 minutes to get up. I took a couple of stops to get up here, but it's 180 meters hike to get up here. Really, really steep steps, so make sure you've got your trainers when you're walking up here. Bring some water too, because there's nothing to buy up here when you get to the top. But the best place to come is to come at sunset time, because the view is amazing, as I'm gonna show you guys. So let's check out the amazing view of the Taipei skyline right here at the top of Elephant Mountain.
time for another street market. So we're now here in Rauhe Street Market or Rauhe Night Market. And it's very similar to Shilin Market that we went to last night. So check out my vlog from yesterday if you want to see more about that. But I wanted to come somewhere a little bit close to the city. So Rauhe was a very good option. It's the alternative to Shilin that we went to yesterday. Very similar. It's got carnival games, arcades, food, and a lot of shopping too. So let's check out all the finds here in Rauhe Street Market. something a little bit sweet because we had the fried chicken before so I got this kind of like peanut butter slash pancake thing and there was a long line to pick it up so it must be something good and it costs 40 Taiwanese dollars so it's really inexpensive and I can't wait to try it it looks like it's a crunchy version it's got bits of peanuts in it so let's see <laughs> all I can smell is peanut butter it's amazing Oh my god, peanut butter heaven. If you are a lover of peanut butter, you have to get this peanut butter pancake slash crap. Amazing and it's a little bit sweet, well not too sweet, but I love it and it's warm and it's got pieces of peanut butter so it's a bit crunchy. $40 really inexpensive yum 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 mm. drink so I got the famous lemon IU jelly drink it's kind of like a bubble tea but it's really local here in Taiwan and it's got the pearl balls on the bottom it's got crushed ice and it's got the lemon IU jelly as you saw before so can't wait to try it it looks super refreshing super hot at the moment it's really sweet but it's really good at the same time so that was Rauhe Street Night Market, pretty amazing. A little bit smaller than Shilin Night Market from last night, but nonetheless it's got everything that you find at Shilin is also here at Rauhe. And this is also close to the city, so if you're staying in the city centre, I suggest coming here. But if you want to venture out a little bit more, then go out to Shilin Night Market too. So, pretty good option, so come here when you're in Taipei. So we're back in the hotel now and just wow, today was absolutely amazing. I really got to experience Taipei at its best. We got to see some amazing views, we got to eat some amazing food and I'm really happy that I finally got a feeling of what Taipei and Taiwan is like. Now Rulakama Cafe, the cutest cafe in the world, right? And of course Taipei 101 and Elephant Mountain, that sunset adorbs amazing seriously i absolutely love sunsets and that's another one for the books definitely please go and see that when you're here it's a really nice hike up the top there and you really feel 
satisfied after that hike up to the top of Elephant Mountain because you're rewarded with an amazing view up there. So do that when you come to Taiwan. Also, it was good to go down to the night markets. I love night markets. I love the vibe and the hustle and bustle down there. So that was a good end to a long day today. But thanks for watching this travel vlog and I hope you're liking my first two travel vlogs for Taiwan. I've got two more episodes for you coming up. I'm going to keep it a secret about what we're going to do tomorrow. It really depends on the weather. But for sure we're going to be visiting another theme cafe and I'm going to check out another site here in Taiwan. The day after we're going to go a little bit out of town and I'm really excited to show you guys that because there's some pretty cool places that I want to visit outside of the city. So stay tuned for my next two episodes and until then let's get some rest and I'll see you all in the morning.